Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder All Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about what is now Hurricane Delta that looks to explode overnight and possibly be as strong as a Category 3 hurricane even by tomorrow night impacting Cancun and then possibly going to a Category 4 and the Gulf of Mexico. So we got a lot to talk about. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. All right, so let's delve into the details. What you're looking at now is the overall outlook from the National Hurricane Center, the latest 8 p.m. advisory. They just upgraded uh, Delta to a category one 75 mile per hour winds. This thing was just labeled as tropical storm this morning and it's already exploded to a hurricane. It's got great outflow. The major shift today has been a noticeable shift west, which is going to now looks like it's going to impact Cancun, possibly with a direct hit tomorrow night, skirt the island with category three winds and torrential rains, eventually getting into the Gulf of Mexico. The National Hurricane Center has it maxing out at 120, but there's plenty of computer model guidance that goes to a cat four and then in the western gulf and then hopefully kind of weaken on its approach to louisiana mississippi alabama region all right so let's kind of delve into the details here if we look at the timing of it all all this is going to play out tomorrow night in cancun we're looking at potentially a category three hurricane impacting uh, cancun with torrential rain if not five inches per hour this is some incredible wind and rain in that part of the part of the region so if you've got plans in that area definitely be on look, lookout for in like places like belize all the way up the coast into cancun for torrential rain and very uh, high winds and then eventually this is going to get into the western gulf and then possibly impacted by a trough that looks to keep it away from texas but a lot of computer models have shifted a little further west uh today and then the official guidance brings it to a northeast shift, eventually going into Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama. By the time uh, Thursday evening into Friday morning rolls around, the tropical storm force winds starts to impact that area. So if we kind of take you back at, at the satellite picture uh, right now, kind of what it looks like, this is Gamma. I mean, this is actually a Hurricane Delta, and you can see the tremendous outflow. And these things are notorious for gaining strength at night. So these things are noct nocturnal. So I fully agree that this thing, we could wake up tomorrow morning to a Category 2 uh, hurricane uh, in the Caribbean, making a beeline towards uh, Cancun. So... But if we take a look at the overall uh, satellite picture, you can see the tremendous outflow. Gamma is going to pretty much, it's almost not even a tropical storm anymore. It's going to fade away and going into the Cancun. The remnants of it could lift back up. But the main story is it's going to leave the way and form a path for Delta. And you can see the tremendous outflow with this storm. And I showed you the 90, mo 90 degree uh, temperatures with this. I mean, it's just been an incredible. We got a high pressure uh, to the north building. So this is the perfect setup in October for developing hurricane down south with convergence underneath. This is the prime setup that I was worried about that I've been kind of talking about for a week now. And it looks to become uh, fruition in the Caribbean. And eventually it'll be setting the stage in the Gulf of Mexico by the middle of the week. So if we take a look at some of the hurricane model guidance, and these, these are pretty concerning because this is the latest uh, HMON model. And these have been fairly uh, accurate this year on intensity. And this actually takes it all the way down to a 9044 millibar. Now that would be an incredible deepening overnight we're only talking it's a 980 right now so for it to get there we'd have to drop another 36 millibars so in the next 24 hours so that would be incredible deepening but that would imply a category three hurricane going into uh, cancun by the time 
tomorrow night rolls around. So that is definitely concerning. And even the HWRF model shows the exact same thing. So when you have two of the hurricane models congruency showing the exact same thing, you definitely is concerning that this thing is going to take over rapid intensification overnight. We kind of we, we've seen this with like Opal and Michael and Matthew. There's a number of storms that this has, has happened in the Wilma in the past. And so it's not out of the question that this can't happen. And it's got perfect outflow for it to take place. And that's what's concerning. And that's why I'm updating this more this evening. Uh, and you can see the rainfall with this on the, uh, the precipitation water content values of the European model pretty much depicting five inch rainfall rates. That is some incredible rainfall rates with, you know, 100 plus mile per hour wind. So this island would be uh, devastated if this comes to fruition on a direct hit uh, from this storm on a, on a strengthening storm as it comes ashore. So that is the last thing you want to see. But the noticeable shift today has been the westward shift in the computer guidance. And that's why the National Hurricane Center has actually shifted it a little bit further west. Now, this actually puts it further west into the western uh, Gulf of Mexico. And there's the latest Euro model even having some members outskirting Texas. Now, this model has been notoriously west this year. So I'm not sure if I'm actually buying this further westward movement movement as far west as it is so just because it's what it's shown this year uh in the latest uh, gfs model and kind of implies that's a, a tad bit further uh east now the official guidance has the direct center could potentially going over the center of of louisiana so but there is going to be a noticeable shift right around thursday where it's going to take from the northwest to the northeast, do a direct north and eventually grow off to the northeast. So where that happens, if it if it kind of stalls or slows down or where the turn eventually happens, that's the undersighting player uh, at the moment as far west it's going to go. But I do think it's going to be impacted by a trough uh, by this situation by Thursday that's going to eventually take a hold of this and swing it uh, northeast. So if you guys are anywhere from, I would say, to, to, uh, to the Texas border to uh, the, the Florida panhandle, you need to be on the lookout. Even though you're not in the cone on the Florida panhandle, you're still in that right front quadrant that you could be impacted. And what we saw with Sally on that noticeable shift at the at closer to the coast at that at that 30 to 30 longitude mark that that's where that we can uh, have a shift on, on on an eastward shift so that's what i'm kind of looking for but man this thing is impressive on the satellite picture by thursday evening this thing is a classic uh category four from the hwrf model the latest model and this is definitely concerning that it can get to this level this would be a major category four if this were to happen and you can see it would drop it all the way down to a 931 uh, millibar. So that would be a very strong uh, Category 4 hurricane in the western Gulf of Mexico. So that is definitely concerning. And But the good thing is we do have some cooler waters to the coast. <laughs> so that, that is our saving grace that this thing is supposed to peak in the western Gulf. How strong does it get? we don't quite know that yet so that'll determine because it, i know it's going to be weakening towards uh the southeast coast so if it gets to a cat four how much can it actually weaken by the time it actually makes landfall does it make landfall to a category two strength which the national hurricane center is basically saying right now about 100 105 miles per hour that's the overall guesstimate of what it could be landfall by the time friday morning rolls around but yeah, definitely concerning that this thing could be a, a, a major, if not strong, Category 4 a hurricane in the Gulf. And hopefully these cooler waters and some little bit of a dry air from that trough coming in on the west side could weaken it by that point on its approach to land, which would be different 
than what we've seen this year. We, we, we're, we're used to if it strengthening, unfortunately, as it makes uh, landfall. And this time would actually hopefully be weakening. At least that's what the guidance uh, shows so far. So definitely I wanted to keep you updated uh, this evening on the developments from Hurricane Delta. I appreciate you guys watching. If you did find value in this video, please like it, leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel and catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.